If you're texting someone and you're wondering how do I know if they like me, then boy, do I have a video for you. Hi, internet best friends, and welcome back to my sleepover. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to know if your crush likes you over text. These are the things that come from my own experience as well as the things that I've researched for myself. Personally, it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited for this video. So... So the first sign that your crush likes you that I want to share with you guys is if they kind of brag about something with you. Like maybe you're texting them and they tell you how they won a medal that day or, or they try to tell you something impressive like oh I was on my last school's football team. Anything that comes off as like this person is kind of trying to show off a little bit. What it usually means is that they're trying to show you their best side and they're trying to impress you. The way number two of how to know if someone likes you over text is the reply ratio. With this sign, you gotta look at two things. The first one is if their replies are bigger than yours. So maybe their text bubbles are this big and your text bubbles are this big. If they're texting you a lot and maybe even more than you or equal to you, then that's a really good sign that the person might like you. At the same time, I know one of you guys told me on one of my video premieres or somewhere in the comments that you're crush always asks you a lot of questions and you were wondering if they like you girl they like you also the dead giveaways with this sign that someone isn't into you is one word replies which just shows that like the person is polite enough to reply to you but they don't really want to initiate a conversation and the second one is they just leave you on red and they don't reply to you even if you're like snapping on snapchat if you send them a snap they open it they don't reply the person who likes you will even find a way to reply to the most unreplyable snap that you send them because they just crave that conversation with you. This next sign is that your crush texts you even during the daytime. So I know it can be kind of like a thing to pick a texting time and have like a consistent texting time that you guys text at, but it would be a really bad sign if the person only texts you when they're bored, if the person only texts you like late at night, because that's a sign that they're mostly texting you to amuse themselves or when they kind of want something else. This next hack is that your crush replies to you within 24 hours or less, unless it's an emergency. In today's day and age, there is no such thing of like, oh, I just didn't see your message. Like I know even with myself, I always give that excuse. If someone says they haven't seen your message, they're lying. If they leave you on red, they don't like you. If they reply to you like five days later, unless they have an actual good reason, chances are they probably don't like you. Okay, this next sign, you guys, is really, really important because I know that some of you guys, and myself included, in the past have made this mistake. And some people think that if a person does this, that it means that they like you, when in reality, this is the biggest warning sign. Person who likes you will never ask you for... I don't even know if I'm allowed to say that word. Let's say it this way. The person who likes you will never ask you to send them noodles. <laughs> if they do, it's just a sign that that's the only thing Think they want and they don't like you and if you do it then it pretty much even will make the person lose interest even more because it shows them that they got you and they would not pursue a relationship with you anymore and now let's get into the next sign this sign might be a little unexpected but it's a really good one so if your car sends you some random things, maybe it's a random TikTok, maybe it's a random meme, maybe it's an article, and some of you might be like, whoa, what does this even mean? Like, it means that they're thinking of you. It means that they want a reason to talk to you. This next sign is that your crush texts you even when they're with their friends. And this is a really big sign because when we're with our friends, we usually don't think about texting that many people. Like we're focused on having fun with our friends, we're going out, we're at a party. When we're not bored, we don't text someone unless that person means something to us. 
So I am someone that wears high heels a lot. This one time, the guy that I liked sent me a post about high heels. And I was just like, wait, what? Turned out he liked me. But anyway, to put this into words more, the sign is that if the person sent you something that is related to you or related to something that you guys have talked about earlier. Maybe you guys were talking about dogs and they sent you a TikTok about dogs. Or maybe it's like something like me. Maybe you always wear pink and they just send you a post about wearing pink. That is a very clear sign that they pay attention to you. They notice the details. They want a reason to talk to you. And like the funny thing, when that person sent me that, I didn't reply to it because I was like, what is this supposed to be? So I opened it and then I left it. And then he texted me again being like, hey, did you get what I just sent you? And I'm like, yeah, what, what was that all about? He's like, oh, I don't know. You just wear a lot of high heels. So if you open the message from the person and don't reply to it and then they text you again, or if they double text you, that's a giveaway right there. So the sign is, if your crush gives you a nickname, Spellman. What are you proposing? Small get together at my house. And this nickname doesn't have to be like that relationship type of nickname. Like it doesn't have to be like baby or something else. I don't know, like even saying that is cringy to me. I hate that one. But like if they use a variation of your name. It took you so long, princess. Caliban. Even if it's like a joking nickname or a teasing nickname, it is still a nickname. We do not give nicknames to people we don't like. Cash, 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 cash. If you are texting someone and that person likes you, they will definitely always try to somehow initiate to get the conversation away from the texting phase and bring it into real life. So they will either tell you that, oh, I want to tell the story and I'll definitely tell it to you tomorrow when I see you at school. Or maybe they will even try to initiate a hangout. Okay, this sign, you guys, is so amazing. And even though I don't think that anyone would doubt if someone likes them, if the person did this, there are still people who actually doubt even the most obvious signs. So I'm still gonna spell it out for you guys. <laughs> what was I trying to do? I don't know where that really came from. I did not mean it like that. I guess this is my apology video now. My friend was talking to this guy that she really liked. So he was talking to her about her car. The same day, she takes a picture with that car holding the keys like this and she posts it on her Instagram. If you were talking to your crush about something or if there was some kind of theme between you two and if your crush posts something related to that on their story or on their social media, basically a post that you feel like is directed towards you because it touches upon the theme that you guys just talked or something that could be like your inside joke or that is a really big sign that that person definitely likes you i forgot to film the outro so i hope you guys like this video i hope it helped you somehow if, if you did then give this video a like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one i love you guys bye